Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, one of the arguments for Brexit is that the UK isn't leaving Europe, but the UK is joining the world. Less than half the UK's trade is now with the EU, and in future, growth will come from elsewhere. Our economics editor, Ed Conway, has been taking a look at whether this claim stacks up. Of all the big Brexit claims, there is one that has so far gone unchallenged. The notion that Britain now exports far more outside the EU than inside. But what if this isn't quite right either? To get things straight, I've travelled to Nevada. It might be 5,000 miles from London, but there is one important thing that links Britain and this part of the US. Gold. This is the Cortez gold mine, the biggest in North America. This is mining on a scale you can barely imagine. Giant trucks, massive diggers bigger than a three-storey house. And that's just the open pit mine. They also dig underground. And that's where my journey took me next, tunnelling down into the earth. We're about 2,000 feet beneath the surface of the ground at the moment, and it's pretty hot, it's a bit sticky. This is where I want to begin. So this is gold ore. And this is the start of a journey that will take this all around the world. Once those rocks have been processed, this is the product. Molten gold, the ultimate precious metal. Next, the gold bars are flown over to London. If you think about Heathrow as a major terminal, airport terminal, people can come, get a flight from one place, change flights, go somewhere else. London is known as a terminal market for physical bullion. That gold sits in guarded warehouses inside the M25 before some of it gets sent off elsewhere. I'm inside one of those high security installations now, so high security, I can't tell you precisely where we are, but here is the finished article. These are London Good Delivery gold bars. They are small, but surprisingly heavy. And between the two of them, they're worth the best part of a million pounds. And that's really the nub of this story. A few of these are enough to distort Britain's trade figures. From London, those bars are then flown to China, to India, to Switzerland, all non-EU countries. That makes it look as if Britain is actually doing more trade outside Europe. Sky News analysis reveals the scale of that distortion. The official trade figures show that in the past five years, only 46% of Britain's goods exports went to the EU. But strip out gold and it's a different story. Britain actually exported fully half of its physical goods to Europe. In other words, perhaps we're not quite the great trading nation we might think we are. Food for thought as we consider the post-Brexit world. Much of London's gold is to be found here, in the vaults underneath the Bank of England. But in reality, Britain doesn't produce these bars or even own them. They come from the other side of the world. Back where we began. The great irony is that most of the gold coming out of the ground here will end its life under the ground somewhere else. But as long as it comes via London, it'll continue to confuse the picture of how much trade we do with the rest of the world. Ed Conway, Sky News in Nevada. I've been